The Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission is still sorting out its licensing issues, but companies that were denied a license say they would be ready to go almost immediately if the commission gave them another shot. News 19 State Capitol reporter Mandy Beer Temple has a look inside one facility. Now, if Alabama always were to be awarded an integrated facility license that they applied for, they say that these greenhouse rooms they already have built would be ready to go within 60 days. The company says they've spent more than $5 million on their Montgomery facility. They say no one from the commission ever visited the site. Even without a license, they're still moving forward with construction, hoping to get one in the second go around. The process seems to have failed so completely at this point. Um, we don't see how we can really be out of it. Lawyers say they want more transparency about how they were scored. So it's still an absolute mystery. We know nothing about what happened with these scores. After a hearing in Montgomery County Court, Commission Director John McMillan clarified the error that prompted this pause. He says there was no issue with the evaluator scores or the commission scores, but somewhere in the combining of them both. Well, just made it a mathematical error, you know. I mean, add, and adding up the score? Well, yeah, yeah. McMillan says an accounting firm is currently reviewing the scores. The commission plans to re-award licenses August 10th. It's unclear by how much this will delay the rollout. Tell me how many more lawsuits we're going to get filed against us, you know, when, when we get through in August. I, I hope at some point uh, something is going to prevail to consider the patients that desperately need this product instead of how hard can I get after greenbacks. Now we expect to hear more from the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission on Monday when they have their next meeting. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19. In response to criticism, the commission didn't visit sites. McMillan says they're tasked with site visits after awarding licenses, but before issuing them. He says it would have been impossible to visit some 300 plus sites in the entire state.